this video will show you how to simplify fractions. Fractions are considered simplified if there are no common numbers between the numerator and the denominator. There are times when you don't need to simplify fractions, and there are times when you do need to simplify them. So if there's these probabilities, you don't want to simplify them, and other times it makes it easier if they are simplified. To simplify a fraction, it's best to write both the numerator and the denominator in what is known as prime factorization. Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. So as an example, two is a prime number because two can only be written as two times one. Three is also a prime number because three can only be written as three times one. Four, however, the very next number I can think of, four is not a prime number because four can be written as four times one, but it also can be written as two times two. Five, however, is a prime number because five can only be written as five times one. Six, let's think about this. Six can be written as six times one. What other numbers can be written to multiply to six? Well, three times two can also be multiplied together to give you six. So that means four and six are not prime numbers, whereas two, three, and five are. In fact, every even number above two is, in fact, a not prime number or what we call a composite number. Because it's a composite of prime numbers. Um, and it's called a composite number um, because it is always divisible by two. So think about, can you think of any other numbers that may actually be considered prime numbers? Let's see if you can also think of some numbers that are composite numbers. So a composite number that I can think of is 24. Because 24 can be written as 24 times 1, 12 times 2, um, 8 times 3, and 6 times 4. So that is a composite number. Now let's look at 24, consider 24, which is 12 times 2. Well, can we go even more with that? 2 is a prime number, but 12 is not. So what if you actually took 12, let's actually just do 12 by itself. Let's say you actually took 12, and 12 is 6 times 2. Well, 6, we already know, is 3 times 2. So now I notice I have two, two, three, and two. Those are all prime numbers. So that means 24 can be written as two times two times two times three. So this, these, since these are all prime numbers, this is known as the prime factorization. To simplify fractions, what you want to do is you want to write the numerator and denominator as its prime factorization. Once you've done that, you can divide the common numbers from the numerator and the denominator, and then multiply what is left, and that is now a simplified fraction. So now what we're going to do is we will go ahead and simplify a number like 9 over 24. So the first thing to do is find the prime factorization of each of those numbers. So let's look at 9 first. 9 is 3 times 3. Since both 3 and 3 are prime, that's its prime factorization. 24, we actually just finished doing, but just as a reminder, is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So there's its prime factorization. So now what you want to do is notice there are common numbers. There's 3 is both in the numerator and in the denominator. So I can actually now divide my numerator and my denominator by the number 3. 
And since I'm dividing both numerator and denominator by the same number, I'm really only multiplying the dividing by the number one. So I can do this. And once I do that, I can now see that I can, um, three divided by three is one, so I'm gonna be left with one and three times one on the top. Two times two times two. And then three divided by three again is one. Those are all the common numbers. So three is left in the top. Two times two times two is eight. So we now simplified that 